The origin of this build is a commission I received for a massive jeans dealer orc war boss. I was immediately intrigued by the idea and started by obtaining a Cornot Slaughter Brute as a base. This may seem like an odd starting point considering it's neither Tyranid nor Orc, but the model has always had a vaguely Tyranid look to me and the musculature feels nicely strange in Xeno even for an Orc. The Gene Stealer models we have aren't a platonic ideal of Gene Stealer, they're specifically human based Gene Stealers and it made sense to me that an Orc based Gene Stealer wouldn't be identical. I started by snapping apart his legs into separate pieces. Since the Slaughter Brute's original legs are digitigrade, I knew I'd need to cut them off out the knee. I scored the line of muscle then pulled it apart. For the shin, I'm using the same defiler leg I have for several of my other huge orc builds. It has a really tough and powerful look and in this case is the right length. I used procreate to attach it below the knee, glued on plates of plastic card to hide the hollow in the middle, then used a stomp a toe as a foot. With legs worked out, I attached the front chest portion of the slaughter brute. The original slaughter brute's chest is angled a lot lower and more forward, so procreate was necessary to adjust it. I'm going to skip a lot of steps following this where I created a scaffold of plastic and glued on the sides of a death dread at an attempt at a power armor because I ended up liking none of it. My original plan was to essentially copy the back of my mega armored war boss from a bit ago, but the problem is that this boss's chest is a lot broader and there's no good connection point at the sides, so the sides of the death dread armor just looked weirder. I decided to start the chest portion over from scratch, this time with the back glued on. The back is very cool looking, but the commissioner had specifically requested mega armor so a lot of it ended up covered later. The commissioner had specifically requested a massive Tyranid weapon, so I picked this one from the Carnifex kit and used green stuff to attach it at the elbow to one of the Slaughter Brute's arms. I put it up against the Warboss's body and realized the Slaughter Brute's upper arms were simply going to be too spindly, which was annoying because I really liked their spiky designs. So instead of trying to source arms from elsewhere, I simply molded and grew the arms into about twice their previous size. This matched the torso better, but now the Carnifex cannon was looking a bit slim so I buffed it up with the Tyranid Warrior gun on the side. I also switched it to the left arm for some reason that I don't really remember. To connect arm and gun, I sculpted some Tyranid looking shell edge as though the cannon had split flesh on the way out. For his power claw, I originally had the idea of using the arm from a Morkonaut to circle the forearm of the Slaughter Brute. I thought that would look interesting with two metal talons and the thumb talon organic. It's a cool idea, but as with many of those, in execution it just didn't work. To replace it, I scratch built a complete monster of a replacement. I really love it and actually cast a mold of it so I can copy it in the future if I want. For armor, I bashed together a mantle composed of a Tyranid organic shell, Morkonut pauldrons, and the iron jaw from the orc mech shop kit. I also switched the left foot to the original slaughter brute so that it seemed like his body was mutating messily and asymmetrically. The last piece of the Gene Stealer orc puzzle was the head. When this project started, I genuinely wasn't sure what I was going to do. The techno freak heads I usually use for these massive builds wouldn't work because of all the tech and growing other orc heads the appropriate size would just look cartoonish. On top of that, it needed to look tyrannity in some way. The solution I found was this obscure plague ogren. His head looks really orcish to me, and in place of nurgly disease, the mutated tusks and tongue and eyes could be painted to look tyrannid-esque. The head was too small, but I grew it into this. I glued it in place so he's looking off towards some target mid-roar. And with that, this commission was ready to go off and await the ravenous hunger of the star gods. I'm really pleased with how he turned out, and I think he hits a nice balance between Orc and Tyranid, an Orc with Gene Stealer mutations bursting from him. He's also the largest war boss I've crafted so far, though that really wasn't my goal. If you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe, or check out some of my other conversions. Thanks for watching.